Okay, welcome to our next video. This one is all about how to find your report and what the numbers and the words and the references all mean. So the first thing that you need to do to find your report is go back to where you actually submitted it. So you submitted it, we, we went to draft two, we go view and complete, it'll take a second and get me through there eventually. And then what we'll be able to see is something similar to a grade centre. So it shows me my assessment, what I was supposed to do. This one here gives me um, a very simple text format of what I uploaded. This next one here actually downloads for me my entire Word document. This one here shows me 29% matching. That number's a little high. So I make, need to make sure that I clearly review what I've done here. This green tick here, when I click on that, that gets me to my report. This date and time stamp shows me in Western Standard Time the date and time that I put it up. So I click on my Safe Assign report. And what it shows me is it gives me, first of all, at the very top, a number. And that number is the percentage matching of text to other places on the internet or in different databases. Underneath, there's 13 citations that I'm matching to and each one is colour coded differently. So what I can do is I can directly click into that particular website if I wish. I can't click into the paper, but I can click into any of the active websites. When I scroll through, I can remove certain highlighting. So for example, I know that right at the end, I included my reference list. So what I can do is go, gosh, I don't need to fix any of those up because I've actually included an entire reference list. So it has skewed my result. So in my head, I can go, okay, I could probably take off at least 10% for those extra pieces. So what have I got? 11, 12, 13, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13. So if I undo 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, and 13. So now what I see is my reference list is not included. Oh, there I can take off 10. My reference list is not included, but these pieces here that are highlighted, they're the pieces that I need to look at. Have I referenced them? And to what degree are they effectively copied and matched from somewhere else? Now, I've got here professional development is. I don't think I need to worry about either of those either. They're common phrases. They're matching to somewhere else. So it's a 70% match. So if I take off one, and I think it was two as well. So now these are my ones that I need to include. Now, I put up this as a draft. So I know here that I've got to include a reference. So the Australian curriculum, and it talks about it, and I know that I've got to include my reference. When I go down here, I've got my essay listed there, and I've got something from another student's paper. Now, what I might need to make sure is that I actually put quotes and make sure I've got the original source. I would say the other student's paper has also taken it from the Australian curriculum. So again, I say that it's a CARA, but possibly what I need to do is to put it in direct quotes because it's coming out 100% matching to this, 80% match. So this is that, and the technologies for teaching talks about those. All right. And again, so these are very common though, they're taken from ACARA, so I'm referencing it appropriately and so on and so forth. So you need to make sure that anything that you have used from somewhere else, that you have referenced appropriately. And we'll have another video that talks about the different numbers and what different numbers mean for different courses. So remember, access it using the same place where you viewed it from, where you submitted and the one that you're going to find your report on is the one with the little tick. So when you scroll down, it's this one here that has your report and that's your percentage matching. 